Hello, Wyatt from Capsum here. This video is a quick overview of the Debrief tool, available in Capsum Core, Capsum Global, Capstone 2.0, and Capsum Ops. It's a great resource for professors who want a quick assessment of their industry performance, perfect for discovering bite-sized takeaways from the simulation action. With little to no need for analysis, the Debrief tool can help you present the headlines to your class in an engaging and informative way. I'm excited to show you how. First, a heads up. I'll be mainly showing the Capsum Core interface for this demonstration. The use case that I'm describing, however, is applicable across whichever tool you use. For Capstone 2.0 and Global, there are some key differences in the tool's structure, which I'll show briefly at the end, but the goal is the same. Jumping into it, imagine a round has processed and you have eager students that you need to share the results with, but little time to prepare and analyze the report. This is a great time to turn to the debrief tool, accessible here from the left-hand navigation. On the main page, the Overview tab, is a collection of automatically generated insights that you can share with your class. This starts with headlines, written as fictional news clippings that are interesting takeaways pulled from the round. These include lines like, flying off the shelves, if there's a customer segment with more demand than production, or burying cash in the backyard, and a list of companies who ended the year with notable excess cash. These headlines can be relayed to the class verbatim an engaging way to ease into the numbers that will surely follow. For a more advanced approach, instructors may consider pulling these headlines into a PowerPoint, building excitement as you reveal the talking points and the associated teams. Each headline can generate a discussion. Take the headline, uh, we're out, for example. It identifies teams that had a stock out. Let's talk through why that happened. Ask the team why they think they ran out of product. Open it up to the group. Maybe others have ideas. Once you've run through the headlines, continue down to the industry overview. This will present results for key performance indicators, and for Capsum Core, the metrics that are the basis of the scoring method. The tool generates some simple talking points around each of these metrics. What was the industry average result? What was the top result? And what team earned it? As well as, who was the bottom performer this round? Again, just like the headlines, this info is presented in a way that you can simply read out loud teeing up excitement from the reveal and generating discussion. If you're looking for additional data or insight into any of the overview KPIs, each metric has a dedicated tab. This second level info is a good place to turn if the discussion around a specific metric heats up. In addition, you can always navigate to the last tab for access to the complete report. If you're using Capstone 2.0 or Capstone Global, some of the debrief tool structure will be slightly different from what I've shown here for Capsum Core, but the use case stays the same. If you need quick analysis, headlines, and talking points around your simulation results, the debrief tool is easy to use and engaging for your audience. In any of the simulations, you can choose to provide access for your students directly from their user dashboard. If you allow, they can dig around and comb through the info on their own. This decision is really up to your teaching preference. Some instructors may choose to withhold the results as a way to maximize the impact of their in-class presentation. Others may encourage students to review the highlights prior to the session, asking them to come prepared with questions. It's up to you. If you have any additional questions about the debrief tool and how to utilize it for fast analysis that engages your students, please reach out to Capsum Support. 